Hey guys, I'm going to show you a quick way of how to add and subtract decimals without using a calculator. It's very easy. All we need to do is put the points under each other, the decimal points, align them up. Once we align them up, the rest of the process is a straightforward addition or subtraction. Let's go ahead and see how it's done. First of all, we align the points. 6.24 plus 0 0.3, we have three numbers here, we have two numbers here. If we don't align them up, we're going to make a mistake. We align the points, 6.24, then 0 0.3, and we put a 0 to make it easier when we're adding up. Now notice, I didn't put a plus, because we don't need to put a plus, we know straight away that when we have an algorithm without an addition sign, without a subtraction sign, without a division or a multiplication, we know straight away it is addition. So if you don't see a plus, you know straight away we are referring to addition. Here, we start adding. We've put the units under each other, the tenths under each other, and the hundredths under each other. Now we start adding. 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 3 is 5, we put our point, 6 plus 0 is 6, 6.54. Once the alignment is correct, it becomes a very easy process. Next example, 17.04 plus 3.295. First step, we align up the points. Then we put our numbers in. 17.04. Now that the points aligned, all the other numbers will start aligned. The 3, there it is, because it's in the units column, or the 1's column. Then we have our 2, our 9, and our 5. As you can see, we have everything aligned. We put a 0 here, and we put our 0 here to make sure that everything else is aligned. It's all under each other. Perfect. Let's start. 0 plus 5 is 5. 4 plus 9 is 13. 1 plus 2 is 3. We put our point. Very important. 7 plus 3 is 10. We carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 20.335. So alignment, very critical. All our numbers are aligned in the right way. And we add and we have to make sure we put our point, we don't forget that, our answer is straightforward. As you can see, that's how we add, and now we're going to do two more examples to show you how to subtract in the same process. Now that we know how to add decimals, let us see how to subtract them as well. The rule is, again, we put the point under the point, so we align the points up. which makes it easy for us to align the rest of the numbers. 13.45, take away 6.72. Now what do you realize? You realize now that the units are under each other, the tenths are under each other, and the hundredths are under each other. So always the points will allow us to align all the numbers correctly under one another. Now we'll do our subtraction. 5 take away 2 is 3. 4 take away 7 we can't do so we have to borrow. 14 take away 7 is 7. We put our point. 2 take away 3 we can't so we borrow again. And 12 take away 6. 12 take away 6 is 6. So 13.45 take away 6.72 is 6.73. As you can see, once aligned, everything becomes straightforward and we'll solve it very easily. Let us do this one here. 20.03 take away 9.12. Again, always point under point, align them up. Now, this will be easy now to align everything else up. 9, 
and one, two, take away. Okay, so three take away two, one, zero take away one. We can't, we borrow, we can't, we borrow here. Yes, we can. Let's two becomes a one. That becomes a ten. When we borrow to this one, becomes a nine. And ten take away one is nine. 9 take away 9 is 0, and of course our 1 goes down, or you can put a 0 there. 1 take away 0 is 1, so 10.91. So the subtraction is our normal subtraction, but it's critical that we have our points aligned. So here, once the points are aligned, all the numbers fall into place, and we can work out our subtraction and also our addition, as simple as that. Very easy. Always remember, point under point, you never go wrong.